Hey guys, I've had a few questions on good spots to fish at Lake Hamilton and good areas, points of interest to fish. Uh, I apologize, it's hot. It's July. I just got through fishing this morning. Um, I believe it's July 20th, something like that. The water temperature is 90 degrees uh, and it, it is super hot. And uh, I've been focusing on, you know, kind of deep, some of the deep ledges and, and deep points and uh, doing a lot of drop shot and dragging a Carolina rig. Uh, but I was going to show you a contour map of Lake Hamilton, kind of give you areas that I like to go to and key to uh, whenever I go out fishing. But let's take a look at the map and go from there. All right, here is, and it may be kind of glare, I'm, I'm sorry because the sun's beating right down on it. Um, but this is, this is Lake Hamilton. Up north here, you've got, this is Blakely Dam, that's Lake Wachita, and it's feeding in to Hamilton. This water right here is extremely cold. This is probably 60 something degrees uh, because they're power, uh, generating power at this dam and pulling out of the bottom of Wachita. And so you got a good flow coming down through in here. Uh, but this is, this is the main creek channel, Wachita River. And it comes through here and it keeps coming. And then now we're getting into the big part of the lake, the big body of the lake. And then it keeps coming on around and then it dumps, there's another dam, Carpenter Dam, and then it pours into uh, Lake Catherine. And that's, basically it's, it's Lake Wachita, it's the Wachita River, Lake Wachita, Lake Hamilton, Lake Catherine, and then the Wachita River starts up again. But I always put in at the hatchery, which this is the Halsey Fish Hatchery, and it's a public ramp, put in here, uh, five areas that I like to focus on is you can see Little Mazarn Creek. I like it a lot. Um, you got to watch it sometimes. If it if if we get some rain or any kind of rain at all, it will usually get muddy. Uh, that's probably about the only spot in the lake um, that will that will get pretty muddy. Uh, the rest of the rest of the area is, is going to be pretty clear. But Little Mazarn is always great. I like to get back up in the actual creek. And you, you can't get that far because it starts getting super shallow. But I like to get up in the creek and fish the docks and uh, things like that. You've got a big rock wall and you can catch a lot of Kentuckys, uh, spotted bass, up and on, on this, the, the south edge of it. Uh, the second place I would focus on is this point, which is called Lookout Point. And this is the Forche Loop Basin, which here's the, here's the creek channel for Forche Loop. Um, and this, this point right here is extremely effective. And then you've got a underwater island, which in the winter you can see it because they draw the water down. And then you've got a submerged uh, island that you can see and this little saddle in between these two are excellent fishing. Uh, the third spot I would focus on these, this little creek channel. This is White, White Oak Basin. And then it's going into the main creek channel. These points along here are extremely good. And this is little, Goat Island right here and all around this island is, is really productive. The fourth spot I would go is Red Oak Basin is a big spawning cove and I fit, like to fish the north side. There's no docks on this side and it's just lay downs and a, a nice ledge that I like to fish either uh, something right now I was throwing deep diving crankbaits on through there uh, because it'll go from two feet to uh, 30 feet pretty fast. Um, and let's see here. Also, uh, another place is this cove on Electric Island. I like to fish this main cove right here because the wind is usually blowing from the west, southwest, and so when it's coming blowing through, it blows a lot of bait fish. And so I like to position my boat here and fish that little point. Uh, that's really effective. Um, right here is Clarion Resort Hotel. This is Highway 7 Bridge. The riprap on the bridge is, is extremely effective as well because there's a lot of submerged grass. And it's about 15 feet deep and there's grass all along that uh, riprap. And so that's a, sorry I'm sweating, sorry, and that's a, that's a really good spot as well. But this is Highway 70 Bridge. This is Highway 270 bridge. Um, I really don't fish a whole lot above 70. 
Everything north of 70, I don't really mess with. I fish everything south of 70. That's usually where I like to stay. And this is the larger part of the, the lake as well. The very, by the dam, this is Carpenter Dam. So this is, this is the largest part of the lake for sure. But that's kind of it. If you guys have any questions on the map, um, let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, if, you, if you like the video, subscribe. And um, hopefully it's, the video turned out good. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, we'll see you guys.